Hey, welcome to Adventures with Peps, and we are painting a very old Mongoose Games Judge Dread Riot Judge. Look at him, he looks great. So we're going to kick things off with uh, some grim black on the old helmet. This model is pretty old, made of metal. I've based him on the Warlord Games base to help with his scale. But with the release of the Block Wars game very soon i got my shipping result today so i know it's on its way i'm getting free riot judges in that set so i thought this was the perfect time to paint him up he's armed with he's got a lawgiver i believe in one of his boots now that i'm looking at this i think that was a lie he does not have a lawgiver on him he should but he has his day stick and his riot shield and I'm pretty much going to follow the paint scheme I used on a previous street judge. So if you've watched that video, this isn't going to be anything super new for you. But I thought it'd be fun to paint a riot judge up. A little bit of practice for when the, the main three come along. He's going to be predominantly blue. That shield is going to have a lot of blue on it. But I thought it'd just be fun. With the black drying... We're going to go on the cloud burst blue. I'm trying to leave some space between the helmet or between colours so that they get to dry a bit better whilst I'm going along. Be very tempting to hit up the helmet with red, but I'm worried it would bleed into the black. So we're going to do the blue instead. Mostly his bodysuit and a little bit of the riot shield. But I love this blue for street judges. I think it just makes sense. I'm leaving an all black scheme. For the SJS and then all the other judges are going to have this scheme going forwards. I am a little bit worried because a couple of my earlier judges that I painted I used base paints and all did a little bit more work on them and they look different but we'll just put that down to artistic credit uh, <laughs> as the judges change with comic book artists. I'm sure my judges will change with slightly different paint skills and techniques getting used. Now the weird thing about this model, and now that it's spun around a few times, you've probably noticed it yourselves, the shoulder pads. I'm not sure what was going on. The Mongoose range had a load of issues, whether it was scale or artists not actually knowing what they were doing and I think this riot judge is a perfect example of that if you look at his shoulder pads one should be like a ribbed shoulder and the other should be an eagle and we have neither on this which is very confusing they look like uh man traps I think that's the best way to describe them so I'm a bit confused I'm not entirely sure I haven't looked up pictures of the riot judges but I've got to assume they had the same outfits as a normal judge, didn't they? It's been a while since I saw a riot judge in the comics. Maybe I'll uh, have a quick Google after this. Initially I was thinking of doing one green, one yellow, but that doesn't make sense. They're the same material. So we're just going to go double yellow. See how it looks. There we go, the shield is now filled in quite nicely. The model's already taken shape. It's just, those shoulder pads really confuse me. And with the final touches of the blue, his bodysuit is done. So by the time this video has come out, I'm hoping you'd have all seen the very first Sector 102 RPG video where I designed the sector house for 102. Lots of dice rolling, lots of drawing. I hope you enjoyed that video, and if you haven't watched it, please do. Go drop it a like, drop it a comment. Every bit helps. I had a lot of enjoyment doing it. I'm going to do the Dan Abnett block next in the same series. So that's going to come along very soon. And right now, we are moving on to the red. So we're going to go around the helmet and on the mask. In my mind, riot judges should just be street judges that have riot gear. So I was a bit confused when I saw the helmet 
with the word riot on it. I maybe this is a specialist the judge that purely specializes in handling riots. I didn't really imagine them as a special unit, but maybe they are. Maybe I need to read up on my lore a bit more. But we are ultimately going along, just filling in that mask. It's a strange one. The breathing apparatus, I kind of wanted to do yellow, but the fact that it didn't slide down from the top as a gas mask should on a normal street judge, I felt that maybe the helmet is meant to be a solid unit and it has more upgraded breathing apparatus because they're obviously using gas. And the red stage is pretty much done. So far, we're probably six minutes in and I'm thanking you right now for getting this far in. It's a good time to hit the subscribe button or drop me a like and a comment. Right. I gave it a good 10 minute break, had a cup of tea, made sure it all dried up. And there you go, we have a lovely dark blue base for the suit. We've got the red and the black helmet. He is starting to look like a judge, so I grabbed the orc skin. Going to do all the green. So we're going to be hitting up the boots, the knee pad, the gloves, and his utility belt. Trying to avoid anything that's going to be yellow. To be honest, if I make a mistake, it's not too hard to cover up, but... It's just an extra step that I don't want, so I'm just going to take my time, make sure I get a nice coverage of the green, and I hope you'll come back in a minute to see the final result. Right, with these final touches, we are reaching the end of the green, and this is probably a good time to have a little close-up look at the model as well. Get that last bit. There you go. He is looking like a street judge. It's hard to tell. Under my lights. But the blue does have a tonal difference. I have pretty bright lights. My eyes are fading. I have to make sure I'm in a well lit room before doing these models. Alright. Green is now drying. We are... Chugging along at a good pace here. I love how the model is currently looking. I think he's going to look great once I've got some more riot judges. The green should have dried enough now that I can brave some zealot yellow onto the model. I'm going to use this on the riot shield, the riot wording on his helmet, and those dodgy man trap shoulder pads that he has. So start with this fiddly bit first. Really not a fan of the riot on his helmet. I wish that had just been a standard badge. I feel this model may have been something previous before becoming a judge. Maybe the artist had produced the miniature for something else and then was just converting it into the judge shred range. I know Mongoose did it with the... Um, they use the Star Trooper range for a lot of the figures, which is super annoying when a company does that. I think that's pretty much why when Warlord Games took over the IP, they dropped all the model range completely. They had the rights to everything. They were selling them for a bit, if I remember correctly. And then they were like, nope, discontinue. And they brought it all to a close. And have been producing their own models now, which I am a lot happier for. Painting these mongoose models, some of them are amazing, like the uh, the Hab City one that we painted a couple of weeks back. That's a great model, lots of detail, lots of fun on that one. And then there's models like this, where it's like, mm, you're an ugly model. Okay, the yellow is taking to this paint wonderfully. I tried a bit more of a heavy dry brush on the model rather than pure.
pure crisp white that I've been doing on the last few models. I wanted to test out how the shading would work. It does work. He's come out darker than I was hoping. So at some point I'm going to have to brighten up those shoulder pads. But that's going to be at a later date. In no way is this model going to be a main character in my games. He's going to be a support role. So he doesn't have to be perfect. Look at that. Yellow's done. Picking out the details. He looks pretty much done now. Which makes me very happy. All we got left to do is the Grave Lord Grey. Which we're going to use on his day stick and on his shield. It's pretty straightforward. We're just going to pick out those details. To be honest, this stage is really quick. I was going to skip forward, but it seems pointless. So I'll take this opportunity to ask, what are you guys up to? What are you building? What are you painting? You here because you're Judge Dredd fans? Are you here because you just like watching a car wreck of a paint video? Drop me a comment, let me know. If you haven't already, it's probably a good time whilst the camera's super focused on my hand to ask you guys for another like, comment, subscribe. It really does help. I'm trying to push to that thousand. If I can hit that, I will be a very happy YouTuber. Now we just got to do the fiddly hand grip. And we are there. I do need to base him. That's something I'm going to do at a later date. His base is pretty cementy looking already, so he doesn't need much to finish off that base. But I think he looks good enough. He's tabletop ready. He'll look good in the background. He's going to be a good support character. Hopefully, by the time this video goes live, there'll be a little stat card for him in the community bit to use in Games Workshop's RPG. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers for watching.